Hello folks. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks. Five months ago, can I crack cat? Boy, is that a loaded question. Thanks. Um, short answer, yes. Obviously, yes. Anybody, people can crack cat. It's a non-genius exam, very triable exam. Um, this, this syllabus is pretty straightforward. Almost everything is stuff that you have covered in school, 9th and 10th. So, it's a super triable exam. It's something that you can very much scramble and prepare. It's not a patch on the JE. It's a, it's, it's, it's doable. Fine. Uh, but it's, it's, if it, it, it cannot be that it's a cakewalk to crack it in five months. It would be completely silly to make that assumption because people do prepare for 12 months. It's a competitive exam. There are a bunch of guys who prepare for 12 months. So if there are a bunch of guys who are preparing for five months, either we amp it up or we are starting slightly behind it to accept and acknowledge and then say, hey, how am I going to go about this? Fine. So, uh, so it's in 150 days. Is it possible? Yes. Uh, the, 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 the honest answer is lots and lots of guys start and around this time and throw everything into it and uh, they get the hang of this somewhere along the way, prepare beautifully intentionally and peak right about the right time for Catherine. Conversely, the guys who have started long back, the guys among you who started 12 months before Cat or 6 months ago, uh, make sure that you don't lose momentum. You have an advantage, but you have to bank it by amping it up in the last 5-6 months. You have to practically say, look, if I'm starting today, what kind of aggressive plan will I have and stick to that. Not do one slow fade into, into cash. And so, who, anyone who's starting now or, or rebooting now, got to be a little smart about how you go about your preparation. So keep that in mind. This is going to be for that. Lots of toppers start now. Sometimes this um, slightly anomalous guys who taken this exam once, done the grind once or already are pretty comfortable with math and English, they start in June because they know their stuff. And so, so it's not like it's a good idea to start with just five months to go. You can start with just five months to go and crack this exam and be among the toppers. If you're not naturally good, you can still start now. Be smart about your preparation, prepare super intensely and give yourself a beautiful chance. And that's a, that's a takeaway. Okay. How do we plan? What should be the when we are preparing for an exam, there are three tracks, three phases. One is learning from fundamentals, from basics, from scratch, having a good sequence of learning and, and, and focusing on ideas, grabbing fundas concepts. Next is practice. And big part of competitive exam is to be, is to have the ability to do stuff without getting out of bed. And so if you, if you've seen cricketers or footballers, some of them do the routine things without really processing it. They know where to stand, they know how the lay of the field, they know what their routine is, they know what the bowler is thinking, different sports, but they know uh, they know the drill. But they've done this over and over and over and over again, but it has been automated. And so that is the second part of the preparation. Massive practice in order to automate processes in your brain. Third phase is mocks. Somebody who starts in December or January can say, look, I'll learn a ton of stuff, I'll practice and then I'll go and do mocks. Somebody who starts in July is going to say, look, I'll learn, I'll practice, I'll do mocks all parallelly. You can't say, I'll learn for two and a half months, practice for two months, and then take mocks for two weeks. No chance. You have to start learning, parallelly practice, parallelly take mocks also. It is possible, that should be the strategy. Three three tracks have to run in parallel. They cannot run one after the other. Impossible. It should never run one after the other. There should always be an overlap. Now, you're off to the races. Right. Uh, what do we do in uh, uh, in, in quant? Uh, sorry, how do we, what is the basics? Here in quant, you start with arithmetic. In verbal, you keep reading. In this, you solve slowly. Lots of times, uh, people add time pressure very early on and it crushes them. They look at an LRDI set and it says, look, I should be solving more than two of these in 40 minutes. That means each one has to be, have to be solving in 12 minutes. I'm not able to solve a single LRDI puzzle in less than 25 minutes. Merita Hugaini. First solve, then get speed. First read, then think about RC. Learn basic numbers, then go to trigonometry. And have that, that, that ramp up to tougher topics built in very well. Learn fundas ramp up to tougher topics, then go to the other phases. Right? Uh, in practice phase, again reiterating this point, lots of practice, repeated solving is important, more than covering vast syllabus. 
because sometimes if you are starting late then figuring out a way to know what your game is, what your territory is, what your zone is and, and, and doubling down on that is better strategy than crafting up one giant syllabus and saying I'll spend 4 hours a day for the next 120 days and finish syllabus for a cat. Who's going to ask you whether you finished syllabus? They're going to ask you, did you prepare meaningfully? You, you're going to ask yourself, have I prepared meaningfully? So, prioritize solving over syllabus completion and keep doing things that are important multiple times. You need to become game ready rather than have a comprehensive plan. You have to be smart, especially if you're starting late. Mocks, mocks pass is very simple. Keep taking mocks, revisiting fundas and iterating this mock process till it becomes a matter of habit. Do not, do not, do not. I repeat, do not wait to take mocks. If any one of you is rebooting today or starting today, you should have a plan to take a mock within a week. And you cannot say, I will learn, then practice, then do some exercises and then find a good day after consulting my, my, my astrologer and then think about taking a mock. No chance, not a chance in hell. You have to do the, the mock taking part very rigorously and very aggressively and start very early. No doubt about it. Fundamentals plus practice plus mocks, all in parallel. And I've been, been saying this point over and over again. You cannot do one, then the other, then the third. You have to bolt to the right races. Of course, a few mock scores won't be in place. You don't even know what sign theta is. How can you solve the question in trigonometry? That's all right. You have to build this habit of leaving questions. What better way than building that habit than by leaving questions, left, right and center. But still, do all three tracks parallelly. What is the quantitative aptitude plan? What is a plan for quant? Start with arithmetic, then algebra, then geometry or number systems, depending on where your home territory is. But arithmetic, then algebra should be the way to go and learn from fundas, then build speed. Don't be on a mad rush for speed till you have digested your fundas. And we have a very detailed preparation plan for quant sitting inside. It's a wonderful playlist. But one more specifically, there is one video that gives a detailed one preparation plan. Do check that out. Um, LRDI, uh, solve one or two LRDI sets every day. LRDI doesn't have any syllabus. You can't say I'll finish the syllabus for LRDI. Solving is syllabus completion, is practice, is getting ready for mocks. Everything is woven into just solving. The best, best, best sets to get a sense of what this exam is about this previous year CAT sets. More than a, give or take a hundred of them. Uh, to solve a set and see the solution takes an hour. Nobody is going to prepare for more than 100 hours starting now for LRDI. So your entire syllabus completion can be woven around previous year CAT papers. This the LRDI sets there are brilliant and fiercely representative of what the exam is going to be. And so definitely weave those into preparation. Again, you can find solutions for all previous year questions with detailed text and video explanations on the 2IM portal for free. Been there for years, hopefully it will be there for years more. Verbal, verbal, anchor verbal around reading and have the confidence to say, I am reading, other things will fall in place. Your RC solving gets better with reading and gets better practically only with reading. Read with variety, read with diligence, read with super discipline, keep at it and there's going to be a very nicely detailed VRC prep plan that's going to get released by one of our uh, one of the kind of serial cat toppers this week. So use that as a as an anchor point. Uh, but the one thing that I can tell you straight away is to read relentlessly. Keep that in mind. This is important. This is important. This is something that um, I have not stressed on, but I think Abhishek brought it to my notice because he keeps thinking about this. Don't finish master. This, this, this idea here is super crucial. Being the king of 70% of the syllabus or queen is better than covering everything in kind of okay, okay fashion. The questions in CAT in all three are these days reasonably challenging. There's hardly ever a question in arithmetic that comes from only one topic. The question involves profit and loss and ratios, percentages and mixtures and allegations. So you have to straddle two worlds put your mind to that context and then carve out a solvable part before actually doing a solving. 
And so, unless you have a very thorough grasp from fundas and with lots of automated processes, you can't crack it. So, being kind of okay in the entire syllabus is useless. Being really good in a narrower range is super good. So, focus on that. Study smart. This part is very important. Pomodoro. Again, I got to know what it means. It's a burst of learning with the minutes, with spells of break. In many ways, I've, I've been doing this all my life. So I can put my mind to 20 minutes at a stretch, very deep. If I promise myself a six minute breather at the end of it. And now I'm older. My spells and breathers are the other way around. I'm not, I'm just kidding. I'm not that bad yet, but I'm not putting that pressure on having long spells of concentration now. Right? But if you're preparing for this exam, 20 minutes is nothing. You should slowly amp it up to 40, 45 minutes and keep at it. Building stamina is super important. Spells in and spells out, like mini motivational hacks to keep your concentration going. Work with somebody. We are learning is also a double-edged sword. Uh, if you have a good group that can, that can kind of put a tap you, nudge you and say, look, turn up today or say well done dude and root for you that is brilliant that is brilliant uh, but you have a short burst draw your boundaries you prepare in an island solve alone and then catch up to discuss learn from each other all of that not all learning can be peer learning if you especially if you have uh, issues with drawing boundaries be careful about this Celebrate tiny wins, super important, all of us need to do that. So, uh, prepare smart. You have to prepare with a big gigantic smile on your face all the time or most of the time. Right? So, you get beaten up in a mock, get up, get going. And if you, if the quant went, if, if verbal went well, but you tanked LRDI, pick yourself in quant and tell yourself, look, let the score go to wherever it needs to go to. I did not cave that worthy of celebration. I, and celebrate getting a good percentile in one section. In, in managing to crack an impossible puzzle that you simply couldn't have done two months ago. Celebrate improvement. Don't, don't celebrate only tangible milestone linked benchmarks. And then, then there's nothing left. And don't be, don't get cynical ki jo bhi ho, paisa bhi nahi hone wala and all that. And so, uh, turn up, be optimistic, wear a smile, give yourself a chance. Right? 150 days, it is enough. 150 days is a long stretch. It's a long stretch of time, but a, 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 a whole world can change in, in 150 days. So there's plenty to, to plan and, and anchor around. It's a long, long, long stretch of time. So have a diligent plan, give it a go, prepare with a gigantic smile. It should take you through. That's it. When you're preparing, if you're starting now, then you need to go towards a place where there's a kick-ass online course. So check out the two IM courses. The 2IM self-paced course is in a league of its own. Everything is on a platter. Everything has detailed video solution. Everything is fiercely modularized. It's wildly sampleable. You can check out content left, right and center without paying a rupee. We totally, totally root for students. We carved out a course by thinking every day about look, what would be the best interface for a fresh student to learn without any interference for a long time. Aram they can sit, know that once you open that terminal in the UI, you know exactly what is sitting inside. You can navigate that on your own. You can learn tons of stuff in a day if it works for you. And everything is modularized and bite-sized. On a platter, the SCAT course exists. It's a, it's a freakishly good course. It's a good place to start. Suppose you feel like, look, I just don't want a self-paced course. I want to sit in classes. And then hit us up with, and we'll direct you to our live online courses or classroom courses. And so, um, almost every part of our 2IM course is available for sampling. So, sign up for 2IM.com, sign up as a trial user, and check out the country. Best wishes for